Hey guys, where are we all? So welcome to My Way Tarot. This will be the reading for the next seven days for Gemini placements. So if you have Gemini as your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury or North Node, this reading will be for you guys. This will also be a timeless reading, so it's whenever you come across this reading is where it's most likely to resonate for you. Uh, not necessarily just when I post it. So if you do happen to see this at a later date, uh, please don't be overly concerned. There could still be messages in here for you. Now, this will be a general reading as well. So with the messages, please use your own sense of discernment with these messages and do not force them to fit with a particular situation. If the messages of the whole reading resonates, then that's great. If it doesn't resonate, then it's just simply not your message. So um, we're going to get into this reading. We're using the Modern Witch Tarot. So we may as well just jump straight in, but I want to wish you guys a very happy new year as we're closing out uh, 2023 and I'm wishing you lots of prosperity, abundance and blessings coming into the new year of 2024. Um, also guys, if you celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and that you're enjoying this kind of more restful period leading into the new year, okay? So let's get into it, okay? Angels of Love and Light, we please have clear and concise messages for Gemini placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury and North Node. What do they need to know? What are the current messages, current energies that are most relevant for my Gemini zodiac sign? Okay, reading. Also, guys, please feel free to check out the other zodiac sign readings for your other placements in your birth chart. I did also post not that long ago a link on the community board so you can have access to your own free personal uh, birth chart and all the information you may need in regards to that is available, okay? So we're just cutting up the deck for you now. We'll get into your read. Ace of Wands, wow, okay, yeah. I'm hearing new year, new me, wow, okay. So some of you may be getting ready to kind of write up your new year's resolutions um i'm also picking up on for some reason um maybe you've been working on a vision board because this can be a, a card indicating being a visionary of sorts so you may have been uh, been a little bit busy okay we're trying to be very creative and kind of really you know fantasize and imagine what this new year could be bringing in for you and I feel that whatever you're doing um it's gonna work out really well for you so I'm hearing be as big or as bold or as dream as big as you can um and don't think that anything is too you know far-fetched or whatever like if you can dream it you can believe it I know that sounds incredibly corny and cheesy but hey why not <laughs> Um, but the Ace of Wands, this is fabulous. So a new spark is being kind of lit within you here. Um, but also I feel this sense of passion, getting ready to really fully enjoy life here. Also travel um, may be quite relevant for you in the next seven days or there's an opportunity to travel or you're kind of writing down some sort of, I'm hearing bucket list, okay, to create some sort of plans to go to that dream destination. Um, there may also be an opportunity coming forward towards you where you're having to travel for your career, for your work, um, or I'm hearing maybe even to collaborate with a certain project, which would be quite interesting. I'm hearing perfect fit for the job, perfect fit for the job. Some of you, you may have not even applied for a certain job or a certain position, but there's a sense of like divine intervention here whereby someone is feeling called to contact you or to kind of be like, I wonder if this person would be interested in something like this. OK, so it may be, you know, something that you haven't done in a long time. Um, I'm hearing that you've got it like in your arsenal as it were, like in your kind of skills and talents and gifts that you have, but you may have not necessarily used it in a while. I'm getting the sense of being a little bit rusty, but 
you you still got you still got it i'm getting like the sense of you know when you're a child and you're learning how to ride a bike or learning how to drive a car and even if you haven't done of this in a while and you go back to it and it's like oh gosh it's like just innately there okay afterwards even though you know the time has gone by um also with this ace of wands we can't forget or ignore the uh potential for a um maybe a surprise in regards to love okay with this ace of wands there could be someone who's getting ready to say look um i really do <laughs> i'm hearing a fancy the pants off you <laughs> i hope i don't get told off in uh, youtube for that but i'm getting someone just kind of i'm getting all blushy like someone kind of blushes or kind of you know has that little cheesy grin or that little kind of look on their face or that little twinkle in their eye when they think of you or when they look at you they're like yeah they do it for me <laughs> Oh, okay, so there could be a little bit of flirting going on, you know, all harmless fun, you know, all of that. But I am picking up on this energy that someone is kind of looking at you and it just brings up all of this like, oh, yeah, they, uh, you know, I think I could get down with this. They kind of do it for me, you know, so uh, interesting. Okay. All right, then, guys, I see you. <laughs> What's going on here? But that Ace of Wands, what a fabulous start coming into the new year. Totally here for it, guys. So let's get into it. What else can we get here for Gemini placements, please? And thank you. Six of Pentacles. Yes, like I said to you, I'm hearing like you're hired. Okay, you're hired. There's getting a sense of someone coming forward towards you. Maybe... Um. You're getting like some sort of bonus, um, increase in pay or a windfall of money. You may even, um, I'm hearing strike it lucky to do with some sort of, I'm hearing like a scratch card or something, but um, there, there's some sort of money coming in for you. And I feel like you're going to be very, very thankful and appreciative of when this comes in because I feel like it's going to allow you to um, maybe go on that trip or maybe start that new endeavor or maybe move or relocate or maybe be able to um, pay off what you're needing to if there's any sense of debts or anything like that. I, I'm getting this overall impression that yeah um, there's some sort of balance and harmony coming into your work life into your um maybe your finances absolutely oh my gosh with justice libra energy which is all the energy to do with balance okay so libra could be significant um oh i love the fact that i said all of that and then i just had the pure confirmation with the justice card so um i am very appreciative of that so love it but let's see what else is coming in there could even be with that justice card um some sort of win to do with um, a court situation ruling in your favour. I'm getting documentation, paperwork, something to do with... Um, yeah, that there may be a, an inheritance for some of you. Something was left to you. You may be finding out relatively soon that something was left for you. And you're not expecting this. So you may end up receiving some sort of um, contact from a lawyer, okay? Or a legal representative uh, or something. I can't even talk, right? Oh, getting all thingy. Mercury retrograde is still in effect for the next few days, so please bear with me. I, do you know what? I'm also getting something to do with, like, um, maybe if you've been going through a divorce or someone that you're dealing with has been going through a divorce or someone that you're interested in in regards to a romantic connection and they've been going through with a divorce, there's something that's ruling in their favour potentially and it's like the dividing of the assets have gone through properly and it's like the sign sealed delivered, like the paperwork is all done, okay? It's all sorted or it will soon be sorted or something's going to rule out in someone's favour. I'm even picking up on something to do with child support. Um, alimony, I don't even know what that is, but I'm getting told to say that. So that could be um, of interest to someone. 
Yes, look at this, six of wands. Look, this is victory, this is success. This is also recognition and appreciation I'm hearing in the workspace. If you've been having difficulties with a particular work environment, something's going to be working out for you. Like people are like colleagues, work colleagues that actually want to be there to be of assistance to you or they want to put your name forward as a potential for a leader, um, a leading position or a role, may maybe management or something like this. But this is someone who is looked up to here. Yeah, with the four of pentacles, maybe you've been kind of scrimping and, you know, budgeting and doing whatever you can. Um, but I feel like you're going to be able to have that sense of little bit of excess that you need to kind of get you to the next part of your journey here. OK, I'm even picking up that there could be someone that you have this recognition it doesn't have to be romantic. You're like. I, I feel like I'm, I've known you all my life or like even if you've just newly met someone and there's this sort of like a past life kind of recognition because we've got the two sixes here. So there could be someone that's like a an earth angel or something like that or somebody sees you as an earth angel and it's like you've been directed to help and assist someone in their life or they've been doing, you know, certain things to make sure that they're in a position and a place and available to be able to give to you to get that kind of leg up as it were so that you can move on forward without the worries and stress that you may have been previously dealing with okay yeah with the king of pentacles look at this taurus virgo capricorn but this is someone that's got um you know a little bit of spare change i know that sounds funny but they do they could be getting ready to to assist you in ways that you've never been um, supported before. Someone sees you as a true investment and they, they feel like they would be missing out on an opportunity if they weren't to be giving to you in some way. Because I feel like somebody sees your potential. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm picking up on this five of wands. It's like something's um competitive. Like, you know, when you get to um look at jobs online and they say that oh this is a competitive salary but i feel like you may be if you were to talk to someone like a boss or this potential investor or something like this and you'll be like you've kind of looked up online of what the competitive salary is and then this person's like well you know, I appreciate that, but they're going to be giving you far more than what the competitive salary is. And you're the one that stands out. OK, you're the one that stands out. And we saw earlier, you know, that ace of wands and we have the five and the six. And the difference is the ace of wands. Like you're the one here. OK, holding this ace of wands, whereas the other five ones are in the background. And you've got these other people kind of fighting it out over here. So you're going to be the one that's kind of overseen, not overseen. You're going to be the one that's seen, but you may have felt at one point that you were overseen, you know, but you're going to be the one that's uh, taking centre stage for something. Please hit what you feel resonates and leave the rest, guys. But um, there could also be potentially in regards to love, someone who's very solid, very stable, potentially quite affluent here. You know, they hold some sort of higher status. And um, they may be kind of looking at you and going, wow, I really love what this person does. I love this person's energy. I love their vibe. I would like to work with them. But also there's a sense of having that, you know, kind of crush as well. Like they may be trying to keep things professional and not mix like business with pleasure. But there's something about you where they feel like on some level they, they can't help themselves, but they know that they, they know that obviously you may get this impression that if they were to come forward with an offer, um, if they, they weren't going to come forward with some sort of work proposal sort of sorts first, then they you may get this impression that they just want something kind of short lived with you romantically but that's not the that's not the case like this person really likes you but 
they want you to know that they're going to put the professionalism first, okay, for some reason, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm getting that vibe, but, but I feel like that was very specific for someone, but anyway, what else is going on here for Gemini? Nine of Cups, gosh! You're about to have some major wishes fulfilled. You're not expecting this. Okay, so everything might feel like it's all happening at once. All the cards wanting to fall out on the table like that. But look, with the King of Cups and we saw the King of Pentacles, some of you may have a new business partner coming in and a romantic partner or this person will be like a two-in-one, okay? And they would want to be that King of Pentacles first and then show you the King of Cups energy afterwards that they you know, have all this passion for you, but they don't just think it's chemistry. They actually really like you a lot, okay? Interesting. So Cancer Scorpio Pisces may be significant. As a Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus placement, the same as Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What else here, please? Seven of Wands. Page of Cups. Guys, didn't I say to you that someone's got a little crush here? Or there's going to be multiple people looking at you and they're like, did they do something different with their hair? Or are they dressed slightly differently? Or have they done something different with their makeup? Or like, are they doing like a new health routine or, you know, or skincare or something? Because this person is looking really good. You know, maybe you're having the opportunity to splurge a little bit on yourself and it's like you're getting noticed. Okay, you're getting seen, you're getting noticed. Yeah, with that King of Pentacles again. Or somebody wants to be able to be like, treat you so that you're able to do all these little things, you know, for yourself. Because potentially you may have felt like you've been kind of going without for a little while. You know, I'm, I'm beginning like the sense of you know, if you were to purchase like makeup products for some of you, like you would be getting the, the kind of the, the, the cheap brand stuff, you know, that type of thing. Like you wouldn't be able to spend on the luxury kind of skincare that you would like to or what have you. I know that sounds incredibly specific, but something's going to be happening where you're going to be able to do this with the star. We have the Nine of Cups and the Star wanting to show through. Aquarius energy may also be significant. What else is going on here? Someone definitely sees you as a star. I'm getting like celebrity vibe. Okay, like A-lister, celebrity, maybe someone that you're dealing with or somebody is... Um, actually a big fan of your work especially if you're online or a content creator or something like this they love like your sense of grit and determination and how you kind of persist in what is you know of great importance and passions for you and you know you may have not necessarily been earning the monies that you would you know wish or hope to be earning but you do it out of love because of being able to explore your creativity and there's just someone who's kind of like, yeah, I just love, you know, what they're all about. They're genuine. They're authentic. They're true to themselves. They're unapologetically themselves. Like, they're not trying to be anything, you know, other than themselves. Like, because it's so easy in this day and age to do all sorts of things, to be putting on this mask and this front of, you know, being of one thing and then being of another. But I feel like you're just coming through as you. And if that's not something that truly resonates, it's something that if you were to look into doing or getting more connected with you or that kind of inner child, you know, state of kind of playful energy and fun and exuberance here, this would actually help you or assist you in bringing in the moolah, bringing in the money, okay? And being able to walk away from maybe an old life here with that Eight of Cups. An old way of being or doing or what have you. What else is going on here, please? And thank you for Gemini. 
because I feel like you have all of this sense of charisma about you, this bubbling like personality, the sense that some of you may be more extroverted, okay? Even if you're not, but, and you're an introvert, right? When you eventually have the opportunity in your kind of small circle of friends or family or whoever you just like being around, once you get to be able to talk about something that you genuinely love, that I'm hearing special interests, special interests. It's like people are just kind of so enamored by you and they're like, oh my gosh, wow, that obviously, you know, really does light this person up and I would love to know more about that or I would love to be able to collaborate and work with them on that or, you know, maybe I could give them a gift of sorts, like that sense of, um, you know, you have something that you really love doing. Uh, for instance, like you're into spirituality, you could be into like crystals or tarot cards, or, just as an example here. And then it's like you, you talk about it and it's like uh, someone comes forward and gives you this very thoughtful gift because they want to show to you that they, they care and they give you this kind of really lovely, you know, I don't know, like a, I'm, hear I'm hearing and seeing like a crystal bracelet here, okay, for someone. Yeah, oh my gosh, with the Emperor, Aries energy, but potentially Divine Masculine. Some of you, if you're dealing with a Twin Flame connection, if that is something that resonates, you may receive a, a gift, okay, with the Star and the King of Cups to show to you that they do really genuinely take kind of interest in you they it's like picking up on the small things even if you haven't had much you know time to converse with this person about what your kind of you know likes or dislikes are it's like they've cer they've certain um they, they've managed to piece some sort of information or things together or think about well i wonder what this person would like i wonder what would be really like thoughtful to them you know, rather than just something like generic here, like this person would want you to feel like there was the sense of real thought behind the present, the gift for some of you. Okay, that's intriguing. What else here, please? What else here, please, for Gemini? Uh, okay, I'm also picking up on for some reason that this gift may be because of an apology. Okay, they they want to give you of something to kind of, you know, not necessarily to sweeten you up or anything like that in that kind of way. I'm just getting the lines of like, look, well, um, this is kind of my way of showing to you that I, you know, have been thinking about you. I'm getting like gift giving as a, a love language for for some, okay? Or maybe even acts of service, okay? What, what I just heard which would go down very well with you, okay? Interestingly enough, um, two of pentacles and the everything is fine, two of swords. So you may have been in this position and place where you've been kind of toing and froing as to you're not quite in your new life as of yet and you're not quite out of your old life. But I feel like you are very much closer to being in this new life than you are of your old life, okay? Even if on some level, like it may look a particular way in your physical reality, um, I'm getting that's all like an illusion, okay? Because actually you are a lot closer to having your dreams fulfilled, okay? That, that life that you want. What else is going on here, please? Interesting, the Gemini. Four of Pentacles. Interesting how we just had the two of Pentacles and we saw the four and then the difference is the six, right? For some of you, um, there may be an old kind of workplace or if you're dealing with a working from home situation, um, you know, living with family or parents or something like that, they may be doing of something to get you to stay in your old job or stay where you're at. And it's like, they may be doing of something to show to you, look, um, you, I'm, I'm hearing that you don't want to go after that opportunity or that, you know, 
I'm hearing change is scary. Like, surely you don't have to move to do this or surely you don't have to kind of um, go down this avenue. Do you really feel like that is right for you? But they're trying to hold on to you in some way. There's a sense of codependency, okay? Emotionally, maybe financially, something's kind of working out pretty well at the moment for other people um, and not necessarily for yourself, but something else is coming in and it's going to be like a test as to whether you feel, you know, able to let go of what you've been dealing with. Like, especially if you've been feeling more in your comfort zone, okay? And you know that you're kind of destined for more, that you are meant to be doing more, having more, seeing more, experiencing more. I'm hearing living more even than what you have been, um, you know, enduring as it were. But I feel like you'll know what is right for you. Yeah, okay. But for some of you, you could be dealing with a boss or an authority figure or a, a parent or, you know, family member or something like that. And they may say to you, look, you know, I want you to kind of stay here or I'm hearing who's going to look after the kids or who's going to do this or who's going to do that. But I feel like I'm hearing that the opportunity is too good to miss. You know, you can't miss it. You shouldn't miss it. You should go for it. And I'm hearing, you know, we'll be able to find out the solutions to these problems and we'll be able to, you know, make it work. As I say that with the King of Swords, we'll be able to think through some sort of strategy here to be put in place. So if certain things kind of, you know, fall by the wayside or whatever, or if there's if the worst does come to the worst with something going on here, I know that sounds a bit vague, but it will be worked out. Everything's going to be fine. But I feel like you're standing up for yourself or standing up true for what you feel is right for you. I'm hearing this is an opportunity for some, for me to do something for me. For me for a change. Wow. Okay. This is only going to resonate that message for a few of you. What else here, please, for Gemini? Six of Cups. Yeah, this has definitely got to do with something with family. You know, the community loved ones, friends even. Some of them may be showing to you, oh, you know, we really back you up and, you know, they, they've kind of said in the past, oh, well, you know, hypothetically speaking, if your dream opportunity was to come up for you, yes, of course we would love you to take it. Love, of course we would love you to, to be happy and we would love you to do this, that and the third and experience of these things. But then they may on some level never believed that it would have ever happen. And so therefore, when it does come into fruition that this is something that is actually going to be a realistic thing for you to do, that you could carry on out, it's like something's turned on its head here and then something's being portrayed as someone's kind of true feelings about the situation and you're having to kind of put your boundaries in place and defend yourself and defend you know, your kind of passions here, defend what's important and right for you. And look, with the temperance, you are being guided to move on forward. This is this is something that has been universally guided to you. And you need to have the strength and the courage to accept whatever is coming in for you, because it is going to be a really big deal. Sagittarius, Leo energy coming through and the Ace of Cups. I mean, look, you are deserving of some major blessing coming into your life or major blessings because you've been doing work on yourself here with the four of swords. OK. And it's about time for all of these different opportunities to line up for you because you've been, you know, kind of lying in bed, you know, fantasizing, daydreaming about that lucky break or something kind of new coming in for your life, into your life or new love or what have you and it's literally just kind of knocking on your doorstep and it's getting ready for you to accept it but will you have the sense of being brave enough to accept it regardless of what everyone else is kind of supposedly saying to you okay and I feel like you will and you know you have to kind of listen to yourself here and what you feel is right for you oh my gosh look but whatever is going on is definitely or will go on potentially may cause a little bit of upset 
okay yeah as i say that with the five of swords which is about chaos and drama okay but it's nothing that you can't handle here you're strong enough to be able to handle whatever is coming forward towards you if you have to have some very serious chats with people if you know what i mean like you have to what have you oh sorry sorry i thought the cards were a bit more level sorry there we go okay because you've waited too long for, for things to turn around and have this breakthrough in your life. What else is going on here? One more card. And then we'll pick up on some other messages. Strength. Well there, well, there we have it. It came out on the table. Look. You've got this. With the Knight of Pentacles, because something is moving in for you. With the Emperor, Seven of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. There may be quite a few people in the mix that have, you know, a lot to say. Okay. There could also be a love connection that someone's getting ready to come in. Okay. Or it could be someone that you're already dealing with or somebody um, from the past that you may have not necessarily had anything love related to yet. Or but you feel a deeper connection with them. There is someone that has this full intention of showing to you, look, um... I'm more about this connection um, than I've given off the impression, okay? Um, I do want to show to you that this is something that I am ready to fully invest in. But I'm just trying to work out whatever I need to as of right now to kind of get things in a position so that we can guide, kind of go from A to B and that we can be in this solid place together but there could be a few people around you that may be giving off the impression that they're happy for you but then kind of chatting ish behind your back to other people saying it's a bad idea or you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that but I feel like you need to kind of you know ignore all of that because I feel like whoever is coming in for you whoever you're dealing with or what have you actually is someone that you can trust okay who's going to have your back and is going to be someone that's going to really be able to fully support you um and not just emotionally either like maybe even like practically like financially um you know that kind of sense but i feel that there's some sort of energies around you that may be a little bit envious or jealous because it's like you may have dealt with this very kind of slow paced energy in regards to your love life. And then all of a sudden, you know, it's here and everything's happening all at once. And it may be quite a lot to kind of take on um, or other people be like, well, I don't like this sense of this change because it means that they're not going to be around for this, that and the third. And, you know, um, oh, you're, you're having this kind of I'm hearing clouded judgment because you're going forward for this and what have you. You shouldn't, you know let too many other people dictate or anyone for that matter dictate what you feel is right and best in your heart of hearts for you especially if you're tapping in with your intuition and you feel like something is going to be really good for you then it's most likely going to be really really good for you and um you know but there could have been something whereby there's been a little bit of gossip or there may be a little bit of gossip about you and kind of connecting with someone else um, or trying to stir up some sort of lies in the mix to do with, you know, maybe somebody lied to your person about you, um, about what you're like or what you're not like, that type of thing. But they don't even know you from Adam anyway. So what's, you know, they can't really say of anything. I'm hearing they haven't really got a leg to stand on. So... Um, I feel like somebody has seen through somebody else's lies where they may have kind of believed it at one point, but now something has come into fruition, like as physical evidence. And they're like, oh, I just saw that this other person had an agenda the whole of time, whole entire time I'm hearing. And they didn't want me to go towards this person because they knew that I could be really happy with them because I'm hearing misery loves company. Right. OK. Um. I don't know why I got drawn to this. Like, all of a sudden I'm sitting here and I've put my hands on my back, like, to support my back. And it's not because I've got backache or anything like that, but I'm feeling like, you know, the sense, oh, I'm, I'm getting the sense of having a backbone, okay? So somebody is standing up to 
maybe a parent or their friends or their family having the sense of this backbone and going, well, actually, this is the person I would like to spend the rest of my life with. I have the intention of marrying this person or having a family with this person or moving in together with this person. And they are who I choose. And, you know, there may be some sort of stern words whereby they're saying, look, well, you either can, you know, um, be all right with it or not. But if you're all right of it, then, yeah, you can be a part of my life. But if you're not a part, if you're not all right with it, then you there's going to be the sense of creating distance. I'm getting that kind of vibe for some reason. Um, but just know that things are really working out in your favor. There may be a few hiccups, OK, or someone's going to come forward towards you and, you know, let you know what they've gone through. Um But there's definitely been somebody or multiple energies here that have been meddling in with a love interest, either your love interest or, you know, with yourself, trying to kind of put out there like, oh, well, you're too good for them or they're too good for you or um, they're not worthy of you or what have you. All of this kind of rubbish and somebody may be trying to put the other person or their, I'm hearing their son or their daughter on a bit of a pedestal here, but... I feel like there's going to be a very equal balanced partnership, actually. Um, and I don't feel like either of you kind of see each other as better or higher off than the other. Like you kind of knowing of your worth here and have that confidence to go be like, yeah, well, I am a catch. And if I would want to kind of attract someone like this in my life, I know that I can. Um, I, that doesn't sound like kind of cocky or anything like that. It's just a sense of like, you know, I know what I kind of bring and not necessarily bring to the table, but I'm getting like, I know what I can bring into being with somebody and in their life. And I know how to, you know, conduct myself in a particular way. I've done the healing work. I've, you know, I'm relatively successful and I'm doing this, that, the third. So why, why couldn't I have somebody that's in my life that, you know, treats me well and is more of an equal to me? Okay. But interesting, lots of different forms of messages coming through for you today but we have strong leo okay um we have taurus virgo capricorn we had cancer scorpio pisces aries um libra also show through quite a lot here guys um so you may have those placements of sun moon rising or venus or your love interest may do and um this is going to be the end of your reading but apart from that one moment we're going to go into the uh the numbers so 666 999 um 777 444 888 and 1111 and 111 may be significant for you guys you could be seeing those a lot okay but um that's going to be the end of your reading I hope you have enjoyed this reading as much as I've enjoyed reading for you today. And if you have enjoyed this reading and you wish to support myself and the channel, there are donation links now available. Um, so I do have a PayPal in the description box below and I have Super Thanks, which is underneath this video, if you wish to financially donate. Um, even if you do not um, financially donate, a great way to energetically donate is to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And um, I really do appreciate the comments. I love reading of those. So I just want to say thank you for doing that. Um, also, guys, if you haven't already, please feel free to hit the notification bell so you get an alert as to when I post another video for you. And um, I want to say thank you to my members. You guys mean a great deal to me. And uh, if you wish to be a member, there's a link also in the description box below. But please feel free to check out the other zodiac sign readings so you get a fuller round of picture of the current energies for the next seven days. But um, again, happy new year. Hope uh, you have a wonderful um, rest of your year and we'll speak to you and see you very, very soon. I'm sure of it. OK, so thank you. Take care. Bye, guys.